I'm Nicholas Smecca, and welcome to this special celebration as we honor the seniors from the varsity baseball team. To start this special occasion, let's hear from the three coaches, beginning with head coach Russell Farrell. Hey seniors, it's Coach Farrell. Just want to say hi and uh, want to say thanks for the last four years. It's been, uh, it's been really fun with you guys. You're a good bunch of kids, uh, a group that I could always count on to show up and do what I ask of you. So for that, I uh, just want to give thanks and I greatly appreciate your effort. I know our season didn't end as we wanted it to. Just uh, kind of seemed just as we were getting it going, it was shut down and uh, I feel bad for you. I, I, but I don't want to make this video about how much it stinks that we're cut short, that our season was cut short, that uh, we didn't really get to finish what we started. I just want to kind of look back on all the, all the great things and uh, all the fun times that we had. So just want to say thanks and uh, just give a little recognition to our six seniors. First is Raul. Uh, Raul Beltran, we really do appreciate your time, appreciated how you always uh, showed up, didn't say much, and worked hard and uh, we're gonna miss you. Next we have Jay Enriquez. Jay, probably more than any of the six on this list, uh, improved the most. He went from a short little pudgy kid as a freshman to being our number one pitcher as a senior. So uh, Jay, keep on plugging and, uh, and probably gonna keep getting better also. All right, next we have Eli. Eli is the third Garcia brother that I've coached, and I like all three Garcias, so that's a, uh, that's a good sign to Eli's parents that they're doing a good job. Eli was always a good little sneaky left-handed pitcher uh, that could get some outs, and uh, I know this year kind of started rough for him because he was dealing with an arm injury, but he came back and uh, pitched good his last outing. I probably left him in a, a batter too long, so sorry about that, Eli. All right, next we have Daniel Ortiz. Daniel was somebody that we could always look to to do different things, play first, play third, uh, not doing that fun job of catching bullpens, but uh, Daniel was a good teammate <clears throat> and always helped us out any way that he could, and I know his teammates liked and respected him for that. Uh, next we have Ian Swafford. Ian Swafford put in a lot of work over the last couple years, trimmed down, got faster and uh, Ian's plan is to go pitch in college so hopefully at uh, Trinity University Ian's going to be able to uh, build on what he's been doing. Uh, I know he had somewhat of an injury, a back injury this year uh, that kept him on the shelf and he wasn't a uh, able to do what he was hoping to do. So sorry about that Ian but uh, hopefully the future is bright for Swaff. And then lastly, we got Adam Trevino. Adam, thanks for everything. Adam was a three-year starter. Uh, I always put a lot on Adam's plate because his brother played for me. And uh, the Trevino brothers are going to be missed. I wish there was one more, but that's it. So uh, Adam, great job. Great job to all the seniors, Raul, Jay, Eli, Daniel, Ian, and Adam. Y'all don't be strangers. Always stop by and holler at us, and hopefully sometime in the near future we can all get together and uh, laugh about some of our fun times. Thank you. Hey, guys. I just wanted to say congratulations. Um, I wish you the best of luck with everything. Um, I'm pretty sure the first team in ball high history to not lose a district game. So that's exciting. Um, those of you who are continuing to play, I wish you the best of luck. The rest of you guys, hey, good luck in the real world. If you ever need anything, you know where to find me. And uh, TBOD. Hey, seniors, it's Coach Shu. I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you for all of y'all's hard work for over the last four years. I'm deeply sorry and saddened that we could not complete the season, but your hard work and sacrifices will never be forgotten by myself and the other coaches. I've had the pleasure of coaching y'all and seeing y'all grow from freshmen to extraordinary young men over the last four years. 
There is no doubt in my mind, all of y'all will find success in the future. Just remember, we're always here for you. And once a tour, always a tour. You are now part of a great alumni that's put that purple and gold on before you. Adam, Eli, Ian, Jay, Daniel, and Raul, thank you for being great ball players, And more importantly, thank you for being respectful young men and great student athletes. TBOD. To say that this baseball season didn't turn out the way we all wanted it to is an understatement. But these six young men you are getting ready to hear from really show us why TBOD is not just a saying, it's a way of life. Starting with Eli, my man. Thank you for always coming to practices and just making us laugh and just really bringing the energy up. And my greatest memory of you is that the night of Iron Man, when everybody stayed over at my house, this was my freshman year, and you were a sophomore. And it was, we were playing 2v2 on a game of pool. And my team ended up beating you and Jay. <laughs> and the bet was whoever lost had to jump in the pool. And it was about 50, 55 degrees uh, that night. And I remember y'all just losing. And literally, we were all just going outside. And y'all didn't want to jump in, of course. It's 50 degrees. So we all <laughs> came outside, pushed y'all in the pool. Y'all were soaked. It was freezing outside. I remember us all running back in inside, locking the door up, and y'all were just hanging outside all cold. That was that was a really good memory. <laughs> that was a really good memory. We've always had fun at Iron Man night, so. Ian Swafford. Swaff, man. Just thank you for always being my brother, dude. Thank you for like, always being there for me, always making jokes, always making us laugh. Um, just, you know, I'll always have that memory when we won. <laughs> we were seven-year-old district champs, man. I'll always remember that for the rest of my life. First to ever do it, man. Like, that's crazy, really. And, you know, I wouldn't, I couldn't imagine my high school experience without you, bro. Like, for real. So, thank you. Raul. Thank you for just always being my brother since day one of my freshman year. Thank you for accepting me just like with you and your friends and just being there for me all the time. Every time I needed you, you were there for me. So I really appreciate that. And just, <laughs> I want to remember just like Iron Man night, man. <laughs> just all of us at Iron Man and those were some of the best times when we would just come over to my house like the night before Iron Man, stay up till four in the morning because we got to be at the baseball field at five in the morning and you know I would just always remember that and I would just always remember the great energy you brought into the dugout every single game every single day at practice just being that fun guy, being that like hype guy, the guy who just picks everybody up when they're down. Just, I remember me just not doing so good my my freshman year. And you're the one who came up to me and was like, hey bro, you're gonna be good. Like, pick it up, you're good. And I thank you, bro. Like, for real. Daniel, dirty damn. <laughs> Daniel, just, Thank you, man. Thank you for being my brother. Thank you for accepting me as that freshman who came in and just being my brother ever since. I'm gonna miss those times that you were in the locker room making jokes and just being that fun guy to always be around and just making us all laugh all the time. <laughs> and I'm gonna miss that, man. Um, I thank you for just making my high school experience so much better. I thank you for just always being there for me when I needed you and always know like knowing to have knowing how to have fun and I thank you for that and I just really appreciate you thank you Jay my day one brother man um, you know we've grown up together our whole lives we've played baseball together our whole lives and uh, I just thank you for that journey man that we were with each other and I thank you for just being my brother 
and always having my back. And I thank you for just always coming to practice and making us laugh and just bringing that fun energy every single day. <laughs> All those stupid and funny jokes you would say or <laughs> just, just being that fun guy in the locker room and that guy who I know will always have my back. And uh, I thank you for that, man. Thank you for just being you, being that fun guy. Most importantly, thank you for being my brother. I'm going to miss you, man. Adam. You know, we've known each other for a while now. and uh, But ever since I came to high school, we became best friends. And uh, I just thank you for being my brother. And uh, always having my back. Always being there for me. You know, being that fun guy to always be around, be around with, and be that being that fun guy to be in the locker room with, and just being our lights out catcher. I mean, being that guy who always clutches up in situations, and being our leader, being our team leader. And I thank you for just the great high school experience you gave me, and I thank you for just always being there for me. And, uh, you know, I know we'll always be brothers. Thank you. So with that being said, it is my honor to introduce the class of 2020 of Tour Baseball, TBOD. Who would have thought that our senior year would be taken by a pandemic? I wish that the 2020 season wasn't interrupted by the COVID-19, but sadly it was, and it was my senior season. Wow. This is really it. Before I get started, I would like to excuse myself for my hair. Corona has closed down all the barbershops. The journey has been a long ride from playing t-ball to now being number four for the ball high baseball team. All the hard work and memories that we have gone through to get here, but with all this happening, it has made us think about all the people that has got us to where we are today. I'm very thankful for my families and my friends and everybody that, um, was in it whenever I first started playing baseball. I want to thank my coaches, teammates, and family for the constant motivation to inspire me to be a better baseball player, as well as a better person. I'd like to thank my parents for always being there for me, supporting me from the start of following my dreams and letting me be in the field forever and staying out late, practicing, working out, doing what I love to do. I would like to thank my parents. Uh, they've made a big impact on my life. I wouldn't be who I am today if it wasn't for my parents. I'd like to thank them for showing up to all of my games, for being the best they can be, for being such great role models, just for always being there for me and having my back. I want to thank my family for pushing me to keep playing this sport and never to quit. I want to thank my dad for the long nights and early morning practices and games, for the long drives and putting everything on the line for me just to be able to play the game I love. I want to thank my brother for giving me the best year of high school, which is my freshman year, for teaching me how to play my position and constantly wanting to make me better in any way possible. To my mom for pretty much doing everything for the team. She is so important to us and we love and thank you for everything that you have sacrificed for us. And finally, I want to thank my sister for coming to all my games when I know she didn't want to. She is my biggest supporter and I couldn't do anything without her in the stands. I'd like to thank my brothers because they've always worked out with me, practiced with me whenever I needed to, and my dad uh, spending countless hours on the field. I want to thank my coaches from Coach Juan to Coach Farrell to Coach Schuster and my Coach Mirren for making me the player I am today. I want to thank my friends and brothers for the competitions we had and laughs we had at practice. I want to thank all my teachers for helping me keep my grades up to play baseball. But I want to thank my dad and mom for coaching me and being with me through all this time in baseball. You show me how to be a great player, teammate, and great person. I would like to thank Ball High for giving me such an amazing team to play for. I played baseball for Ball High for what was about to be my fourth year. And um, I've had great memories from it. I've had lots of fun with friends, um, great uh, times just playing with them because baseball is a hard sport.
I'd like to thank all my coaches that helped me get to where I am today and helped me follow my dreams. And I'd like to thank everyone that supported the Ball High Baseball program because without them, we wouldn't have the field we have and everything. I'd like to thank my coaches for always having our backs, no matter what, <laughs> wins or losses, for the light practices, for developing me, for developing me and who I am today. And lastly, I would like to thank my teammates for just being the best man, the best people in the world, for always making me laugh no matter what, for always having fun, wins or losses, we we'll always found a way to come back and win, for just being who they are. They will forever be a family to me. I'll never forget the memories we all had together. And most of all, I'll never forget being a part of TBOD. Love you. So I just want y'all to know that I'll remember this moment forever and I appreciate everything you guys are doing for us. Thank you. Even though our senior year is done, it, it was still one hell of a ride and I wouldn't want to do with anyone, anyone else besides my brothers I've grown up playing with. I love y'all. TBOD. I had a great time playing with my teammates and I'll also miss making all the great memories I had with them. I'm still very grateful and uh, I hope everybody else is too because everything happens for a reason. Thank you. Okay, seniors, that about does it. Just want to give some thanks to a whole bunch of people. Thanks Mike Dudas for putting this video together and for doing KTOR uh, radio and broadcasting our baseball games. Always made uh, tour baseball feel special. And Dudas, thank you. Uh, <clears throat> next on the th on the thanks are uh, my coaching staff, Coach Murin, Coach Schuster, Coach Easter. Uh, as a head coach, I couldn't ask for three better guys, so I appreciate it. Uh, next on the thanks is our trainers. We got Doc, we got Heather, we got Jeremiah's. Uh, three guys that cared for us and uh, really do like the baseball program, so we appreciate it. And of course, our student trainer, Abigail Larios. Abby, thank you. We miss you. Uh, hopefully, all of us can get together uh, sometime this summer and laugh about our times that we had together. And lastly, Rosemary Trevino. This is her last ride last year as Booster Club president and pretty much the do-it-all lady for tour baseball. So Rosemary, we're gonna miss you tremendously and uh, thanks for all your time and effort. And uh, to everybody who sees this, parents, kids, uh, stay safe out there and I appreciate your effort, seniors. Last four years have been great and uh, we'll see each other soon. Bye. I'm Nicholas Mecca, thank you for watching and we will be together again soon at the ballpark, TBOD.